Hello everyone, thank you for being here and taking the time to watch this video. Uh, now, in the front uh, verse we got here a snapshot of uh, a search result. Okay, that's showing my website showing here at the top. And basically what I want to actually do, to show you here before you go ahead and I show you the tool and how the tool works. Okay, so below the video will be the download button for you to download it. Just download it, it's not up to anything, download it and I will show you in a minute how the tool works, but now I'm going to show you why the tool works, okay? Now, if you look here, if you look here on my page title, you can see that I got Chris Farrell membership, okay, which is relevant to the search term that I use to find my website. And my page description as well, you can see Chris Farrell showing there as my first keyword as well, search term, okay? And I want to tell you as well that this is page one. If you see here on the on the results, there is no page one or page two. I will show you now uh, what's happened here. So basically, I'm not on page one now because I stopped targeting uh, Chris Farrell membership for this region. Okay, so I'm now on page two. And if you look now, you can see that I actually changed the position of Chris Farrell membership on my title and on the page description. Okay, but by doing that, I also uh, still benefit on Chris Farrell. Okay, I'm still here on page one. There is some adverts, which is a good sign. Okay, so. And then again, you see that is a different term, but I still get it because if you look, the 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 bold test that comes up still relevant to the search term. Okay, so uh, why do I appear for that? How do I do it? Okay, so basically again, I'm gonna show you another term here: Chris Farrell online business. Okay, there am I again, page one. Okay, and I, this tool allows me to do this. Okay, and now I'm going to explain, I'm going to show you the tool and why do I get these results, okay? So let's get to the tool. So once you download your tool, your free tool, okay, you double click. Now if you go Vista, you do go a, a warning message about administration permissions to use this this tool on, on your computer because Vista does come up with that. And basically all you need to do is click allow it. So you don't see in this message because once, you, once I'm recording the message doesn't show up but you will have this if you're running Vista as your operation system. So basically all you need to do is just allow it, then the tool will open and this is how the tool looks like. Now what you do here, now here is one thing to be in mind, if you use the tool too fast, too many times, then the search engines will block you for like a few hours. And basically all you need to do is, is clean your cookies. Now if you go our toolbar, Okay, which I believe, uh, you know, if you with Chris Farrell, Chris as well, I think Chris has got a toolbar now, I see someone. Well, you basically what ask Chris if it is his toolbar or if he's someone trying to impersonate Chris, okay? But if if it's a toolbar, his toolbar, sorry, got this uh, function, all you need to do is make sure you, you click the, uh, the lead the browser cookies and, cl and clear browser history. If the tool gets blocked and then wait for like an hour and the tool gets back to work again because if you put too many inquiries the search engines will block you from using the tool for a few hours and then you probably have to wait and use the next day so how the tool works so basically all you do is click on main keyword and in this case i'm just going to type the chris faro okay click ok so you can see now the main keyword has been added there chris faro and then you click gather keywords and the tool goes and fetches all these search terms for us okay so this is the search terms that is actually typed on google yahoo and msn now from here uh, obviously is another thing that you can do you can add more keywords okay and you can gather gather data which is going to give you the competition uh, on these three search engines the problem with uh, using the gather data is this okay you will be bringing results like Yahoo answers, you know, now that Google uh, Google is crawling Facebook, every time a comment shows the Chris Farrell membership or something with Chris Farrell, it's going to count as competition. So the competition sometimes is not really that 
you know, that important, okay? Because if there is competition, is a good sign, but sometimes the results for the competition is a bit too wide than the competition actually is. So the only way for you to find out is really doing it and then uh, get there and see if you appear there, then that's great, you're doing a great job. Now, how do I appear on the top of the search engines by using this tool? That's very simple, okay? So as you see here, all these search terms that we see, we got 24 results. All I do is I make sure uh, I write an article no shorter than 500 words and no longer than 1000 words. And what I'm trying to do is in my article, I try to include all these words I got here, all these search terms I got here. Okay, in this case, which has to be keywords, because it's key, it's something that people type on the search engines and, and gets to, the, to get the results that they're looking for. So all you need to do is include this on your article at least once, okay, or even twice, no more than twice, okay. If you use the same term more than twice, you can be marked as a spammer, okay, which means repeat too many repetitive words on your articles, the search engine just basically pass you out and you don't even look at you and sometimes even blacklist your domain. So this is pretty much how the tool works. So, you know, for any search term that you use, start with sending short, look for what appears. Okay, and then again, you know, just because we got two searches here, we got 30 at the top there, all we do is we use all these terms on our article, we're actually going to have increasing the chances of we appearing for all these uh, search inquiries that are made by users to the clear file okay. okay so this is pretty much how the tool works now if you got any doubt and you need help all you need to do is click the help button send me a message and i will try to help you uh, for, for you to get your results so this is pretty much it thank you very much for watching my name is Zenun. bye bye for now